tutorial you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in Kelly Green. You will also need a pair of scissors, a darning needle and a crochet hook. You can use whichever crochet hook size you want. I'm using a 5mm but if you want it smaller you can use um, a smaller hook, if you want it larger you can use a larger hook. I actually used a 3mm for this small shamrock here. You want to begin by making your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer and take your hook and insert and you're going to start off by chaining four so one two three and four you're then going to make this into a circle so you're going to insert your hook right into that very first uh, chain and grab the yarn and pull it through both of those loops on the hook and then you'll be left with a circle and it's the one in the very middle that we're going to start working in. So first of all you're going to chain three, one, two and three and then we're going to do a treble crochet right into that very centre circle. Um, this is a UK term, in the US this is known as double. So it's yarn over, insert into the very centre yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops and yarn over, pull through two and that's your treble crochet. We then want to pull down the stitch slightly so we're going to do a double and in the US this is known as single so go straight into that centre circle, grab the yarn and pull it through, you'll have two loops on the hook and then grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook. We're then going to do another treble, so yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You want to chain three, one, two and three. And we're going to pull this chain down into the centre, so we're actually just going to do a slip stitch here. So you'll insert your hook into the centre circle, grab the yarn and pull it through and then grab the yarn and pull it through that um, stitch which is on the hook. So that is the first leaf of the shamrock. We're then going to repeat that. So chain three, one, two, three, a treble. A double. So straight through, a treble, and a chain three. One, two, three, and then slip stitch into the centre circle. At this point you just want to sort of pull your leaves around so that we have a bit more space to work our last um, leaf. So we're going to chain three again, do a treble, a double, and another treble. Chain three. and slip stitch into the centre circle and that is your three leaves of your shamrock. We now want to make the little tail at the bottom so you're going to chain five, one, two, three, four and five and if you turn your work to the side we're going to skip one chain and then we're going to do um, a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. So that's one and then we'll do three more. Two, three and four. Now at this point here what you want to do is you want to insert your hook right into the very top um, of those stitches just here. So insert your hook anywhere around there, yarn over and pull through, that's just to connect and then yarn over and pull through again. 
grab your scissors, snip off the yarn and then pull out and you're just going to give this a pull on there just to pull it round and then all that's left to do is to grab your darning needle and sew in these ends. So this one I actually crocheted in while I went around so I'm going to go ahead and just snip that off because I know that it's secure in the work. But this one here, I'm just going to uh, thread up my darning needle. And once it's threaded up, I'm just going to put my needle through the stitches just around here. Pull through the work. And then release the darning needle. I like to just pull on the work like this just to pull the um, thread back in slightly. And then I'm just going to snip off. And there you have your little shamrock. So this is the 5mm hook and this is the 3mm hook so you can change your hooks to change the size of the actual shamrock itself. So there you go, this is your shamrock tutorial. I really hope you guys have a fantastic St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!